Guess what we got? Damn it. This isn't finished yet. Ah, you got a wreck! is your booty in the camera. That's where your booty belongs. Whoops, something fell. Hold on. There you go. You're in like Flynn. Yeah. How do you like it? This actually isn't bad. Oh wait, tilt back. You got you got a uh, other side. Other side. It's like a low rider this shit. Low rider. What up? It's a little higher. Yeah, I gotta get my, get my bandaid on like this. That's right. This isn't bad, actually. You like it? It seems like it's a little low. But you have to put it up on another platform anyway, right? To bolt it in. Yeah, I think so. This is comfortable, though. We picked it up on, what was it on? Craigslist? Craig Amazon. I think it was on Facebook Marketplace. For I 20 bucks. Just showed up that day. Yeah, we scored. What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to pick me up? That's right. I'm already with you, old man. Tell us about the project du jour. Oh, yes, today. We're putting in our driver's seat. Very exciting because we found it for $20. And that was cool. We actually like had looked all over the place for different seats, all the way up to three and 400 bucks. And then in the end, we paid $20 for a seat from some really cool people in Sierra Vista who were building out a tiny home in a van and pulled their seats out. So we just upcycled and that was pretty cool. This, however, is the pedestal. Our seats are too short. Like it doesn't sit up high enough for a bus. So I have to build something for it to get up on so that it will be a bus seat, not a van seat anymore. So unfortunately we had to weld again. Not and like cut and grind and weld and grind. And cut and grind. Yes, exactly. Not my favorite thing. I like woodwork better than metalwork. Let's put it that way. All right, loud noises. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we need to do, we can cut two more 20s. That's what we can do. What is that, the slag buildup? That's the spray from the saw building up and creating this. It made a stalagmite? Yeah. A slagmite? A, yes, a slagmite. <laughs> <laughs> Three twenties. One more. We had just enough metal left over from our deck board to build this. Perfect. This is gonna be one of the risers. Wow. Did that just happen accidentally? I didn't even measure that. That can't be closer. I just needed a random length. And that is exactly nine and three quarter inches again. That's so crazy how right. random that that would happen. This is what it's going to happen. So these are going to be mounted and then it's going to be like this. Oh. You see? Yeah. It's just a tiny angle that's almost inconsequentially small.
other reason why I hate working with metal. So hot. Yeah, where's your glass? Right here. Okay. Okay, this is what we were trying to accomplish. Something like that. And this. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. See how it's got the angle on it now? Absolutely. And then, so another one on the other side. Yep. And then are they connected together? together in the I was going to initially, but because um, they're so, so short and stubby, I'm just going to add these to the just bottom of the chair. Just add rails and then, oh, add them to the bottom of the chair and then add that to the floor. And put it right on the floor. Yeah. Nice. I don't think we need to go in. It's just like a booster for the seat that we bought. It's so stubby that I don't think I need to make it this big production out of it. But then it makes it really easy because the top piece has to match the bolt patterns of the seat and the bottom piece needs to match the bolt patterns of the floor. So yes. now it's the perfect the exactly. perfect piece to go between mm -hmm. and make it work. Yeah. We'll take these in once I get them welded up. We'll take them in and we'll put them up against where the bolt pattern of the floor is and we'll make some marks and drill those holes. Uh -huh. Then uh, we'll leave that in place. We'll drop some bolts in them, just push them straight down through into the floor so it, it puts it in position. We'll then put the seat on top of it, get the seat in position and mark the holes where the seat holes need to be for mounting and then drill those. Okay. And then we will be ready to go get some bolts for it because I don't okay. think I have bolts for this. Okay. What we need to do now is bring this over here. The welding a la carte. Are we finally out? I think we're finally out of welding wire. Whoa, are you sure? No. Let's look. No, not yet. I think we will run out today though. I just don't know why it's not feeding. Good enough. That's really good. Yeah, it'll work. Okay, so now I'm gonna take them inside and measure for bolt holes. And introduce them to the seat. Yeah, they can say hello. All right. We should be able to sit this all on here and test it. These are my measuring blocks. The 
It's a very sleek design. I like it. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll do it. Let's see if we can get the chair down on here without it falling over. Probably not. How are we looking? I can't see the feet. Um, okay. Go down. Towards yourself. Up, 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 up. You lost it. It's too heavy. Oh, is it? <laughs> I can't bend over with it like oh. that. really great. Yeah. I like it. Does it feel right? Yeah, it does. It feels really good. First things first. We need to mark. Ooh. Yeah, it's not perfect right now. Yeah, it's actually not Maybe. far enough over that way. at an angle. Oh, I was thinking that it had to like go through straight even though Actually, that's an angle. Actually, we might be able to. Only because we could slide this whole thing over it. Clever. Clever. Two heads are better than one. See. We each have half a brain. <laughs> Together we make one person. Let's go check. We'll take these out there, drop some bolts out, and set the, set the seat on it, and make the marks where the bolt holes for the seat go. Describe out here with me. Okay. Now we need to measure how long the bolts need to be through the floor in order to use what bolts we need to buy. And then those need to be one and a half inch bolts on top. So let's see if any of those are sticking up the bottom right now. Okay. 
What did you see down there? What's that? What did you see down there? I saw one of the bolts sticking through. It's the one that's closest underneath your chin. And so, of the bolts we have here, one of these things is not like the other. Well, two of them. Had so, to be that one. This one, and it needs to be a half inch longer than this, at least. And you need like one. lock washers and stuff like that in there? Yep. Okay, I gotta go to the store. Okie dokie, pokey. I gotta go bake a pie. Make a pie. Can't wait for dinner. Thanksgiving's delicious. That's right. We're having Thanksgiving right now. That hummus with those pretzels. Just Ooh, I bet that was a good combination. Dipped in the uh, olive pieces. Crushed olives. <laughs> diced olives. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you were in snack mecca. Yeah, it was. Okay, so these big long ones, I just don't think I'm going to be able to get them in this from the top, so we're going to have to come in on the bottom on this, unfortunately. From under the bus? Yeah. Oh my goodness. These are grade 8 bolts. Why did I use grade 8 bolts, you might ask? Grape ape? What? If I lift this up, will you just slide this, like... Yeah, let me put this down. Under it. Right there. Oh, just right here in place? Yeah. Where? The metal thing. Oh, I couldn't see it from where I was standing. Also, where is it? Okay, so first one. Come on. Really? Ah! Cool. Okay. I'm really happy how this turned out. Yeah, you know, it seems like it's been really fast. You just like whipped this thing uh, out of thin air. I didn't put any end caps on. There's a lot of things I didn't do. That. Well, it's going to have wood built around it, isn't it? Yes. Like you're not even going to be able to see it. Exactly. So, yeah, who cares? Well, you put your finger on the top of that bowl right sure. there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I'll jog this thing into position now. It weighs a little more than a minute ago. I bet. <clears throat> Very nice. Okay, so now, Get it into over the bolts. Get bolts down it. This one will work this direction. I can't see the hole. Gotta know I'm close. Is there a flathead screwdriver somewhere up there? Uh -huh. bottom big things okay so I'm gonna be working on this one I'm gonna come up and you're gonna kind of do this to get it on and try to get it so that it'll pop through I might okay. as well bring the other and one and then what me. do I put on there like a washer a and washer a and a net okay, okay. I'll be under the bus <laughs> not my favorite thing You've only had to do it 25 bajillion times on this build. At least. Mm. Oh my god, perfect shot right through on the first try. Cool, put them on that. Baby. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Can you hold this one down? Yep. Now 
have the last bolt. You're going to have to jog the front to the left and right. There we go. Awesome. I'm going to make this argument right now that drinking uh, a smoothie for breakfast is giving me a substantial more energy Good. than uh, than I was experienced before that. Okay, let's see, these are half inch. So, tighten everything down. Pow good. Well, this is just going to handle everything except the seat belt, so yeah. it's going to be to be continued on the installation of a new seat belt. Yeah. Okay. We're good? I think so. Boy, that thing sure rocks a lot, though. Only because it's not tightened down to the bottom. Yeah. I got the other end still? Yep. All right. You're going to be doing the tightening because I won't have any room to move. On just there. the two back ones? All of them. Oh, all, all of four them. bottom ones. Okay. All the floor ones. it's pretty good yeah I think uh, you're gonna want to check the wobbliness of it now oh, nice. doesn't wobble like it just stays very solid huh oh this is great man I can totally drive from here hey can you slide forward and back nice Looks like you still need to go back more. Oh, yeah. That, was like that is awesome. And there is still plenty of room behind it. Yep. For more sport storage space. Totally. Very I cool. Love it. Awesome. Now we have a driver's seat. <laughs> that smells like pumpkin pie in here. It sure does. It's beginning to smell a lot like. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. 